Hi, this is Naomi with Sword and Steel, and today we are going to be checking out the Termagants in this box. I will answer for you right away though, is the Termagants in this box the same sprue as the Leviathan kit and the various introductory, introductory kits? Yes, it is. There is the same sprue for building your Termagants, so some of this is going to be push fit. Um, but there is an additional sprue in this that is not push fit but fits into the push fit models to give you alternative weapons. And let's have a closer look at that in this video. So termagants are generally equipped with a flesh borer weapon, which is an assault weapon of 18 inch range, 1 attack, 4 plus ability skill, 5 strength, AP 0, and 1 damage. And that is how the models in Leviathan and the various current starter sets are built. But in this kit, a unit of 10 can alternatively all be built with the devourer weapon instead. And the devourer weapon has no weapon ability, is 18 inches, 2 attacks instead of 1, 4 plus ability skill, 4 strength instead of 0, but still 0 AP and 1 damage, so that's double the attacks, but has a lower strength. Or you can change it to where they all are built with spine fists. The spine fists are assault weapons and pistols, and they are twin linked, but have a range of only 12 inches. 2 attacks, 4 plus ability skill, strength 3, but being twin links means that they should be more likely to succeed on fives and sixes, which is generally what you would be needing to go against the person's toughness, AP zero, one damage. In addition to those weapon options, so you can have one in 10 models equipped with a shard launcher. Shard launcher is a blast weapon, heavy, 18 inches, D3 attacks, four plus ballistic skill, five strength, zero AP, one damage. And you can also have one in 10 models equipped with a spike rifle, which is a heavy 24 inch range, weapon, one attack, four plus ballistic skill, four strength, AP one, and one damage. And then as well, you can have one in 10 models equipped with a strangle web, which is an assault weapon with devastating wounds, the new devastating wounds, torrent, meaning it automatically hits, 18 inches, D6 attacks, but it only has two strength, zero AP, one damage. So with a two strength, you'd only ever be successfully wounding on sixes unless you have some way to buff up any of these abilities. And lastly, besides the 10 Termagants, there is also a Ripper Swarm in the box, which with the release of the new rules in the Tyranids Codex has become a unit you need only one model to play. This is a push fit model with a couple different ways to attach the Rippers onto the base, no glue required. But since you'll need some plastic glue to attach those specialty arms to your Termagants, you might as well give your Rippers some more stability by gluing them together as well. So to reiterate, in this kit you have enough options to build 10 models with flesh bores, or 10 models with spine fists, or 10 models with devourers, or 7 of any of the above, with one of each of the shard launcher, spike rifle, and strangle web. That makes 60 points for the Termagants, 15 points for the Ripper Swarm, and currently 75 points worth of models in this box. Thanks for watching and make certain to like if you enjoyed the video. I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Thanks as always to the patrons and YouTube members. And thank you for those who are brand new and joining in and supporting the channel. I really appreciate everything that you have offered and given. And I hope you're having a fantastic hobby time this weekend. Okay, I don't know about you, but it feels like this Tyranid guy could definitely be substituted for this Tyranid guy. I mean, it is on a different size base, 40 mil versus 32 mil, but you could change that. You could pop them on and off, magnetize it maybe. I mean, if you had like 50 termagants already and you just want to add in that fellow, you could buy a five pack of barb guns. It's possible. It's possible. Just an idea.